What's up everybody, I'm Matt Brody and welcome to the Smoky Mountain Jeep Invasion. I was lucky enough to be invited to display my Jurassic Park Jeep out in front for all the visitors to see. It felt a little odd having Sue displayed next to so many amazing Jeeps, but people seemed to really enjoy her and I absolutely loved seeing so many kids and adults not just wanting a picture of the Jeep, but with the Jeep. They even had a built up 4xe. Inside the LeConte Center was a huge variety of vendors and custom builds. It was pretty awesome to see all of the possibilities. So it's kind of loud in the showroom exhibit area, so I hope you can hear me all right. But I've been walking around looking at stuff. There are some really cool things if you're into JLs or JKs. There's not a lot of stuff here for the YJ, which is good for my wallet. But uh, yeah, there's some, there's some pretty cool stuff here for sure. So if you haven't ever been, it's definitely worth coming. All right, so this Wagoneer might be my favorite build that I've seen today. This thing, just super cool with the rooftop tent on it, the, uh, the recovery boards. Yeah, this thing, super awesome. There is, however, lots of really good accessories just for overlanding in general. Things like tents and packs and uh, recovery gear and refrigerators and all that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of things for me to look at, but uh, a lot of things to get ideas for, which is probably going to be a problem for my wallet later on. show with my oh, videos. Look at this guy. <laughs> What's going on, man? What's going on, brother? How are you? All right, man. How you doing? I'm good. Look at this. <laughs> Who's reporting who here? <laughs> While I was inside checking out all of the cool stuff, outside, parents and their kids were really getting some good smiles out of seeing a Jurassic Park Jeep on display. There was also an outside vendor area with even more amazing Jeeps and cool products to check out. With over 10,000 tickets sold each day, there was an insane amount of Jeeps to look at, even in the parking lot. After coming back to check on my Jeep, I noticed something pretty awesome. 
I'd been ducked for the very first time. Not just once, but a bunch. Speaking of ducks, I have to laugh because I caught this duck thief. Check out this guy stroll up, grab a duck, and walk off. Uh, I'm going to assume he thought I was giving them away. Oh, and I got to see Light Bright again, too. All right, so I am up in the show and shine area checking out all of these amazing Jeeps. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff from Jeeps that are really built up to Jeeps that are really old to Jeeps that are really fancy with all kinds of stuff that you'd never go off-road with, and then Jeeps that are only for off-road. So pretty interesting. I'll show you some of my favorites and uh, check these out. All right, you know me, I'm gonna point out the YJs. There are so many awesome Jeeps here that I could never show you all of them, but I hope you've enjoyed some of the ones that I showed you. I thought they were pretty cool. I hope you did too. Leave a comment down below. Which one did you like? All right, so apparently this is the after party when we are done with, with uh, the Jeep Invasion official. Everyone heads to Quaker's uh, Steak and Lube, and it's just a giant parking lot full of Jeeps and people hanging out and uh, and it is totally awesome but I gotta find my crew so uh yeah I suppose that's that's one way to save some room in a parking spot so this is my buddy Keith's YJ, it's totally awesome. I watch the videos of him hitting the trails all the time, and I'm so jealous because I can't, I can't make mine that big and beefy being the Jurassic Park Jeep. So I live, I live vicariously through his wheeling. So ironically, when I came through here, there was not a spot to be found, and so I had to park kind of far away in a little compact car spot. And I walk all the way back here, and now there's like spots galore right next to where all my my Columbia Jeep crew is, and man, I could have parked closer. And see, I had to park all the way here, which is on the other side of the building, which is on the other side of the get-together. So I literally parked as far away as I possibly could because that's the only spot that was available at the time. I should have brought my RC Jeeps. It was such a such an oversight. All right, so I gotta give this guy a shout out because he oh, saw oh. me riding in the Jeep. Oh. And he had he had a Jurassic Park Matchbox Jeep to give me when he saw me. And that was totally, oh, thank you so much, man. That's that right, was bro. awesome. It was hey, super cool. Time, brother. So. Hey, bro. yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks. He has no idea he's about to be on my YouTube video, but I found another dinosaur Jeep. This, this is awesome. It belongs to my daughter. <laughs> I'm, look at this. Look, there's, there's Littlefoot and a dinosaur. I don't, this is, that's like a T-Rex. Oh, you got all foot. kinds of good stuff. I got all these ducks and I got this blow up. I don't have an actual little foot yet, but I'm working on that. That's awesome. <laughs> Hey! 
All right, it's the last day of Jeep Invasion, and I came out from my hotel, and uh, Sue got ducked again. Look at that. It's very cute. Oh, actually, she got ducked twice. Look at this. There's another one in the door handle. Thank you to whoever ducked me. I really appreciate it. Uh, if you did, leave a, leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. Which Jeep is your favorite? Jurassic Park. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. All right, so I got pretty excited on Thursday when I got my first duck. I got even more excited when I got like a handful of ducks throughout the day and on Friday. But check out how many ducks I have now. That's so many ducks. That's, that is awesome. And check out this one. This one is my favorite. It's a dinosaur duck. It's, it's, these are the ones that I give out, but uh, to actually get one is super awesome. All right, well, I think that's pretty much going to do it. I had an absolutely awesome time here at Jeep Invasion. I absolutely loved getting to watch people enjoy Sue, talk to them about it. If you were here and you saw the Jurassic Park Jeep, uh, leave a comment down below. And if you left me a duck, I got so many ducks, I'm so excited because I've never been ducked before. But if you, if you left me a duck, let me know. I'd love to connect with you there. Saw so many of you guys who were fans of the channel. Uh, so it was great meeting you. So really awesome time. I hope to be here again next year. And uh, until then, God bless. We'll see you in the next episode. Peace.